Welcome, Snack Tackers! My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to, to like, co oh my gosh, what, a, what an intro! To like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get talking about this product. This is interesting. It is, believe me it is, in that this is just an interesting flavor we don't see in this very often. This is the new Ego Thick and Fluffy Tiramisu flavor. That's right, Tiramisu flavor, and in the Thick and Fluffy split line. We just had the strawberry shortcake, it was a little disappointing. Or sorry, the strawberry cheesecake, it was a little disappointing. It had strawberry flavor, but no cheesecake. Now this one, I think is going to taste like what it says it does. It says it is bakery inspired cocoa and roasted coffee flavor. Chocolate and coffee, so easy to do. I think it's going to taste almost exactly like it. I think, again. This is what it looks like cooked. Oh, jeez, you slide, you slid. And it smells... Like Eggo waffles, coffee, and chocolate. So exactly like it should. This was purchased at a Woodman's for $2.29. This one I'm way more excited for, even though I do not like coffee, even though I do not like chocolate. Somehow, for some reason, I have always enjoyed mocha, which we've discussed, and that came up in the Kit Kat duos. That being said, I have never super loved Eggo waffles. They tend to be kind of dry. But the Ego Lege waffles were really good. So, tit for tat, we're going some pros for Ego, some pros for Mocha, Tiramisu, and all these other kind of cons somewhere in the middle. So, it was more like a Venn diagram. Oh, uh, that was a confusing, like, metaphor or simile or whatever it was. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Your confusion, my confusion, we share it. Because I'm just as confused. I learned my lesson, though I brought a fork and knife, and my favorite fork and knife. Uh, I'm just gonna use my hands, man, because it's way easier. Sorry. Let's give this a try. Three, two, one. Snack tack. That's really disappointing. It just doesn't taste like much of anything. It's really, really bland. It's possible that the Ego dough to make these thick and fluffies is too thick and fluffy because it mostly just tastes like a bland waffle. And I got a pretty big bite, as you can see. I guess I'll try to get the biggest bite in the world. It really just doesn't taste like much of anything. It's surprising. Usually for something like this, the company would be too heavy-handed. But here, unfortunately, they were just too ginger with it. It just does not have much of any kind of flavor. It's really, really bland and such a bummer. Because by the smell, and by the smell of it, Frozen, it, it, it smells like it should be really, really flavorful, but it just isn't. And that's a real big bummer. Um, I did not write down what I gave the other ones because I didn't think that this would be in the same bracket. But it turns out it kind of is because it's just pretty bland. Again, I think it's the batter that they use to make these thick and fluffies. They just take over, but they take over in a really blah way, which is odd. It's a snack tack pass, unfortunately, and out of 10, it's just 5 out of 10. It just tastes like a large waffle. It's a bummer. That's a disappointment. Your disappointment to me and your father. Go to your room. But the question we ask around here is not, will we now see more different split lines? As Ego appears to be very experimental right now. They had the pancake fulls, they had the lege waffles, they have these thick and fluffies, though they had the thick and fluffy before. This is continuing a split line. No, it's would you buy it again? No. It's super bland. 
and not great for you. And that's just a c combination that I do not want in my life. But remember to check Instagram, TikTok, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.